What's up everybody, Mike here. So I went to go check out a truck today and I figured I'd bring the camera along because I do get questions from time to time about the pickup truck on the channel. And I got here and I was like, I can't fucking believe this. Look, there's people looking at it. That's the one I was gonna look at. Oh, thank you, CJ's Tire Source van. I appreciate that. But that brown uh, 2500 HD right there, straight ahead, I don't know if you can see it with the light. Um, but those people are going to check it out. So that sucks. I mean, obviously it's a, it is a good deal, which is why I came to look at it. And obviously it attracts some attention. So hopefully they're just tire kickers. I don't know. It looks like some old man. I don't whatever. Um, but anyway, so I figured I'd bring the camera along. I do get questions about the truck from time to time. And that is because I'm selling uh, my pickup truck. I have a 2006 silver. A lot of people who are new to the channel probably don't even know this because I still get a lot of questions like, what are you going to drive in the winter or if it snows or whatever? So I do have a 2006 Silverado that I've had for a long time, um, but I want to start doing a lot more stuff with it. You know, that, now that I'm at a point in my life where, um, you know, I can spend some more money on a truck. I've always wanted to have like a serious project truck, you know, a nice lift and cool tires and a whole suspension setup, you know, just a serious, serious off-roader. And um, my truck, unfortunately, when I got it, it was used, uh, of course, I've had it since I was uh, 19 and it had uh, 50,000 miles on it when I bought it and it's still in a low mileage, it's still under 80,000 miles. But unfortunately, because it spent the majority of its life up in Maine, it has some rust issues that I should have attacked right away, but I didn't. And uh, because of that, you know, there's just some, some rust issues on the frame that would take a lot of work. And with the stuff that I want to do to the truck, it kind of just makes more sense for me to get a newer one and to start out with a 2500. That way I can run uh, bigger tires and everything. It's less, uh, it's more stress on the driveline components and a 2500 has stronger components to begin with. Um, so it just makes more spent sense for me to go check out a 2500 to start with. So uh, that's what I was going to do today. And I'll get out of the car here in, for a second. I'm just going to see what these people are doing. They're walking back to the showroom now. But also I rolled up here and here's a brand new Camaro just chilling here and now this is the pre-owned lot so I don't know if this is uh, new well let's go out and check it out here we'll see what's up with this thing so these things are awesome this is actually the first time I'm seeing one in person yeah it is actually I just thought this is the first time I've seen one in person and uh, it looks really good you know it does look a little bit smaller on the outside than before I mean you compare to the size of the Hellcat there and again sorry the lighting is absolutely terrible right now but yeah, I'm actually, I'm actually really digging this look. I think the front end looks good. I don't know, that, that narrow grill to me still doesn't look exactly right. I think it's just too narrow, but it looks good. Very good. I, I think my favorite part about this car though is the rear haunches, the way the little window goes back here and those wide hips in the back. Looks really good, actually. These are the same exact tips, just from experience. These look like, I think they are. These are the same exact tips that you get on the Corvette as well, which isn't surprising, but yeah, so new Camaro. Yeah, I think this thing's badass seeing one in person. I actually really, really like it. I really dig this car. I, I mean, it still looks a lot like the old one. This audio is going to be terrible. There's traffic and now there's a fucking train. <laughs> of course there is right when I get my, out of my car to do this, but yeah, I'm impressed. I wonder if they have the door unlocked. <laughs> They do, they have it just sitting here. So this is what it looks like. Let me get in this thing. This is, oh man. So I know that I'm rambling on here and the camera's running long, but this is just my first impression. So I just want to let the camera roll. And they just had this car locked. <laughs> That's kind of funny. But man, okay, so, you know, sitting inside after driving the ZL1 a little while ago, it does feel similar to that, I would say. Um, wow, look at these door handles up here on the, That's interesting. I like this accenting here. That's pretty cool. Very nice. Say, uh, feels, you know, it's not the same wheel in the Corvette. It's a little bit thinner than that, uh, which I don't like. Yeah, the steering wheel should be a little bit thicker, but the paddles are the same. Feel exactly the same here. Nice wheel. Love the flat bottom. Yeah, I'm I'm uh, impressed with the interior here. This this in the center stack is awesome. You got the electric uh, electronic parking brake, just like the VET. Mother stuff. The seats feel pretty good. These are obviously not the aggressive seats, I don't, I don't think anyway. And there's a the wireless charging pad. Man, this is, this is impressive. I really like this car. So let's look at the, the sticker here. I wonder if anybody's gonna come out and be like, "What are you doing?" But, um, all right. So total vehicle price, forty-five grand. Obviously, this is an SS. It's got some, some features here to go along with it. Yeah, I, I gotta say, I really like this thing. I'm impressed by the interior. This has a good feel to it. That's definitely the same. A lot of Corvette stuff in here, or at least stuff that's very, very similar to the Corvette. This looks and feels a lot like the shifter in an automatic Corvette. Um, the paddles are the same, I can tell you that. Um, you know, the display here, 
very cool i'm actually loving this a lot so all right i'll get out of the car here i won't ramble on too much but those are my first impressions of the new camaro nice little uh details on the door sill here too so I really like this car a lot. I think that's awesome. <laughs> so that was pretty fun to check out. But anyway, let's go ahead and check out the uh, truck that we came here to look at. All right, so I just skipped a little walk over here and this is it. God damn, these things are enormous in person. <laughs> I mean, I'm like, I'm not exactly that short at five foot nine and it's like up to my chest. So this is a 2500 HD, a 2013. Um, you can see massive springs, leaf springs in the back, and you can see the rear end of these things is enormous, which is why one of the reasons why I'm doing it. Huge, easy to run, 35-inch tires on this. Now, this is a 6-liter gas, so this is not a Duramax as much as I would like a Duramax. They're just a lot more expensive, and I really can't justify uh, the cost considering, you know, I don't really tow or haul anything. Check out the inside here. All right, this passenger door, I got to hold it open, but... You know, pretty standard truck interior, which is how I like it. You know, I would never buy a truck with leather or anything like that. I just like the, um, you know, the cloth interiors because it's the most durable. And I, you know, I haul my dogs in it. I get, when I go down to the beach with it, it gets all muddy. Look at that rut and sandy. But look at that rust though. That's not good. Look at that already rusted. This car is three years old. This truck is three years old. It's already rusted out, but that's what happens with trucks. They just rust all the time. It's got a nice little ton of cover on the bed there. Let's go ahead and get inside. It's a big boy, this truck. <laughs> it's a big truck, there's no doubt about it, man. It's It's got some definite size to it, a lot bigger than uh, my truck. So this is a new Silverado over here. I'll show you real quick for size comparison. Um, and this is downhill, this truck is downhill from that one and it's still taller and much bigger. I mean, I'm sitting on the windowsill line of that pickup truck and my truck was even smaller than that. Um, so yeah, this thing's definitely got some size to it for sure. I mean, look at this, you get room for three drinks. I can't even reach my arm to the other side of this thing. Absolutely enormous, tons of, tons of space. And the back seats are, you know, just truck back seats. I like the extended cab with the regular uh, size bed, not the long bed. I mean, God, if you get one of those extended cab or crew cab long beds, the truck is like 25 feet long. Um, so this is what I would stick with. But, you know, got all your basic stuff here. Not a whole lot to talk about, so I won't uh, drone on and on. But I just wanted to, you know, bring you guys along on this trip because this is what I'm looking at. And, you know, I don't know if I'll, I'll get this one or not or whatever. We'll see uh, kind of what the deal is with it. They're asking like 32 for it, which, you know, like I said at the beginning, is a good deal. Hold on, let me switch the, the lighting here so you're not looking into the sun. Um, but this is essentially what I'm looking at. You know, this is what I would really like as far as my next truck is concerned. Um, and you know, it's gonna be an awesome, what, what I envisioned for this, and it's gonna be really fun for the channel too, because it's gonna be a running project. I mean, it's gonna be my daily driver, of course, for bad weather and, and for off-roading fun, but I'm gonna be doing so much to this truck. You know, lift, tires, all sorts of stuff to make this a serious, just incredible off-roader. It's gonna be badass. Um, and it's gonna be awesome to do those builds on the channel because I don't really do any of my own work on my cars, and that's just because the Hellcat and the Corvette come with free maintenance, but the truck and the truck I have now, I do all my own work to it, and and I can do all kinds of like install videos and and stuff like that so it would be really fun so that's what I envision uh, for the channel over the coming year but um, anyway this is the truck and this is kind of what I'm looking at and I hope you guys enjoyed this little trip today and I, I see that I'm already at like 12 minutes so I'll cut it a little bit short uh, I don't want to waste everybody's time but at least you got a cool look at the Camaro and we'll walk back over there really quick and I mean, I gotta say, yeah, you see them next to each other. It does, it, it is a lot smaller than the Challenger. I actually really like it. The roof line, man, that, th that thing looks good. This angle right here, this angle is like the angle for that car. Looks fantastic. All right, but anyway, enough for me rambling on. So I hope you guys enjoyed this trip today. Thanks so much for joining me. As always, if you're stopping in for the first time, please subscribe and take care. Have a great day.